Hi to all you rum lovers out there. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of Diplomatico Reserva. Now, it's another one of the Diplomatico range, obviously. Um, for you guys who've been following some of my uh, rum reviews, you'll know that I recently done the Ambassador, which was a fantastic rum. A little bit pricey, but really is a gorgeous rum. And also I've done the Exclusiver, the Diplomatico Exclusiva. Now, my advice is try all the Diplomatico range of rums. They're all great, fantastic in their own way. They really are. I love the, the this style of rum. Um, it's sweet. Latin American rums, you know, just really do. They do it for me, basically. Um, what I would say is Dip Diplomatico Reserva, um, produced obviously by uh, Distillerias Unidas SA in Venezuela, same people that produce the other range. And they also produce... A massive range of rums um, for a lot of brand big brand names around the world so you know fantastic distillery uh, this particular rum is derived from molasses and it's distilled in a copper pot still now once it's been distilled they transfer it into oak casks and they age it for eight years so you know eight year old uh, age rum. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into the heritage about this rum too much, only because on my last two um, Diplomatico reviews, I've gone into it more extensively. So, you know, have a look back at those if you've not seen them, and you'll get all the information that you need to know. Um, I'm going to take a little taste of this one, and we'll have to see what we think of it. Right. So, first of all, initial colour it's a lovely sort of yellowy gold colour it's really nice lovely sheen to this rum really crystal clear it really is lovely and then if we if we pour it up have a look around there I don't know if you can see that but it has you might be able to see the legs on it there they are long thin legs very very nice now initial smell like I said very sweet, you know this is going to be a sweet rum, you can smell the caramel, certainly caramel, vanilla, um, you're going to, you've got um, a tinge of pineapple I'd say, and sort of candied fruits, it really is a, a lovely smelling rum. Now we have a little taste on it. Oh, that's, you know, because I've tried the 12-year-old exclusive and the uh, the next one on the range, the Ambassador, they're really, really smooth. And I was expecting this one to maybe be in eight years, be not so smooth, but this is really smooth. Very easy, straight in, a lot smoother than I thought it would be on initial taste. You get that little tinge of pineapple on it, sort of tropical fruit. fruit. Um candied fruit to be honest with you um, you get a little hint of pepper on the, on the, on the mid-range of the rum on the mid palate it's sort of just a tinge of pepper leading off to a light oaky sweet finish it's really it's a lovely easy drinking rum and that's perfectly a, a fantastic sipper you can sip that beautifully. You could put a piece of ice with it if you like it, If you, but there's no need. It's really smooth. I did notice a lot with these, uh, some of the rums, when you take a first taste on your palate before you have any rum, they can be quite, you get your flavour, you need to, it gets smoother after a couple of sips. And this is just absolutely beautiful. I can say, another, another great rum by Diplomatico. Um, obviously the range is owned by Diageo, the, the major drinks uh, industry giant, but you know, that's making it, like I said, um, if you look into the, people got their own views about how a lot of these big drinks, comp or these companies are being overtaken by uh, this, this massive uh, drinks company, but at the end of the day, um, 
it just means that it makes it drinks more accessible whereas they were only reaching certain areas of their own country and maybe just outside before um, it becomes the drinks became more widely available for people elsewhere around the world so it's got to be a good thing as well isn't it anyway um, price wise absolute ah, it's fantastic it's 27 pound a bottle for god's sake that's not even you know you can go down uh, for a few drinks out with your mates and you'd be just spending a lot more than that so you should have a night in and treat yourself to a bottle anyway like i said my name's andy and uh, this is a review for my channel robustious times and until next time enjoy <laughs>